Hello, this is Vern, and on today's video, I'm going to share with you seven signs that the guy that you're interested in can actually commit. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious and conscious women how you can attract the man you want and the relationship you crave without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or see the techniques. Now, the reason why I labeled this video how to know if he's actually available versus how to know if he wants to commit is because wanting to commit and being able to commit are not the same thing. Now, let me say this clearly. A guy who wants to commit is far more interesting to you than a guy who doesn't want to commit, but a guy who wants to and can commit is what you're looking for. Now, before I go into the seven steps that I'm going to share with you right now, I just want you to know that if you want to go way deeper than I can go in today's video into how you can create the emotional transformation you're seeking beyond intellectual understanding, how you can step into the relationship you want. Uh, first link in the description of this video, you'll see a page that looks like this. Uh, enter your name and email, and you can start watching my free masterclass right away. First sign that he can actually commit is he is available. I know this might seem like something silly, but you'd be surprised how many intelligent and accomplished women reach out to me to describe the situation they're in where it's absolutely clear to me that the guy they're connecting with is not available. So here's some signs he's not available. He is in another relationship. He is ending another relationship. He is in the process of divorce. He is not healed from something that took place. Maybe two years ago he ended things with someone. But when you talk about it with him, he gets alive in a bad way. He gets super upset and he places the bulk of the blame on his sex versus coming to the realization that he had a big part to play and being accountable to it. What else is a sign that he's unavailable? He's not excited about the process or the prospect of a life of meaning which requires sacrifice, requires compromise, and requires getting uncomfortable far more than if you were to just have what you want all the time or not commit to someone. Second sign that he's able to commit versus just wants to commit is that he is clear on what he wants. He's taken the time to think about what type of relationship he wants. He's able to articulate it. He knows if he wants children or not. He knows if he wants uh, marriage or not. He knows the type of emotional connection he's seeking. He has a goal for what would be exciting to share with a partner. A guy who's taking the time to think about what he wants is so much more valuable to you than a guy who's discovering along the way or who even if you ask him the question, isn't able to deliver an intelligent answer on the subject. Now, which is important because you want to be able to ask questions early on that allow you to know if the guy is in the same planet as you are in terms of a relationship. So if you ask a guy, for example, what are you looking for in a relationship? And he's unclear about what he wants. What is the likelihood, if he hasn't thought about what he wants, that he can actually deliver what you're seeking? Now, it's possible Kind of like it's possible to win the lottery, but it's highly unlikely. Uh, what else is a sign that he's able to commit? Well, he can ask quality questions to you instead of just you to him. Now, one of the things I'm a strong proponent of is that you're a valuable woman. You don't want to waste your time that early in the process, even in the texting process and in the first date and in the second date, that you clarify what he's looking for to make sure it's in alignment with what you want. Uh, if he's higher up on the knowing what he wants, he's also going to be proactive and ask you questions to ensure that he's not wasting his time. A guy who can answer questions in a thoughtful way goes up on the list, and a guy who can answer questions but also asks quality questions is worth more in the process of dating. Uh, number four, he's consistent in his pursuit of you and is not wasting time with games. What does that mean? That means that when he says that he's gonna show up, he shows up. If he wants to call you, he calls you. If he, if he sets up a date, he shows up. If he can't show up on a date, he's as respectful as possible in letting you know why he can't show up and reschedules to make, I mean, because if he's really interested and he can't make it, he's gonna reschedule instead of waiting for you to prompt him to do that. So again, there's a difference between a guy being in pursuit of you and a guy smothering you and chasing you. You want to avoid the guy whose life is so empty and devoid of greatness that he's living vicariously through his pursuit of you, but you do want a guy who's clear in his intentions and is stepping one day at a time into something that is clear, no games, and feeling like things are moving forward. 
he respects your boundaries. Now, a guy may not be thrilled with your boundaries. For example, if you say, hey, I don't have sex with guys, we're not my boyfriend, and it takes time for me to be somebody's girlfriend, then he might not be super excited, but he's respectful, uh, respectful of it. So why is this important? Because a guy who wants a lifelong partnership with someone is going to look for different values in women than a guy who just wants to have sex and a friend with benefits. So in the book of a guy who wants commitment and can step into commitment, a woman who has clear boundaries is worth more than a woman who has no boundaries. Next one, he sets healthy boundaries himself. Why? Because if he is a guy who loves himself and he's clear on what he wants and he's clear on his ability to create commitment, he's gonna have some things that he needs in order to move forward. Now, they may or may not be in accordance to what you want, but he's gonna be setting them clearly on. You want a guy who's able to say no to you when it's necessary. You want a guy who's not just pleasing you. A guy who's just pleasing you, you will lose respect for in no time. A guy who sets boundaries, if they're healthy ones, you'll also feel his value and his worth. Number seven, he's open to conversations that are uncomfortable. What does that mean? If a guy wants commitment but can't have difficult conversations when they're needed, and I'm not talking about making up drama and just coming up with things that are problems without them being problems, but when something needs to happen that's a difficult conversation, a guy who is commitment-minded is going to face the music and have the uncomfortable conversation, come up with a way of doing things better, share his point of view, apologize when needed. A guy who can't create commitment will deflect those conversations, will be utterly defensive, and will not be able to share with you what he needs or offer you the emotional support you're seeking. I'm gonna give you a bonus one, an eighth. I didn't promise eight, but I'm gonna give you eight, okay? Uh, because if you connect with a guy who has this quality, I think his ability to be even more proactive and share more of himself with you is enhanced. And that is a guy who understands his mission and is stepping into it. Why is it so important? Because most men, and I'm not saying everyone, but most men have an inherent need to figure out some way of adding consistent value to the world and to start doing it. If he hasn't figured that out, then you might be a distraction for him or he might resent the things you ask of him. When he's clear about what that mission is and he's stepping into it, first of all, he feels better about himself. Second of all, he can offer you something that goes beyond just smothering, which is a meaningful connection based on a life of meaning and substance and you're an extra part of that substance versus the substance itself. And that's why a guy who has a mission is so important in the process that you're searching right now. Hope this is helpful to you. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to go to the first link in the description of this video, click on that link, enter it in my email, and be taken to my free training that's gonna share with you how you can take this specific video to the next level by understanding how you can embody the change instead of intellectually understanding it. Uh, if you like this video, please click, please click like or a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little bell. You'll be notified of new episodes as they come out. If you know someone who will benefit from this, share this video with them. And last but not least, if you have been stuck on this area of your life and you've watched my videos and somebody else's videos and you've read the books and you've done a few video programs and nothing's working out for you, you might highly benefit from hand-holding and customized help. And if that's you, click on the second link in the description of this video. That will allow you to apply to connect with me. If we're a fit, I'll have a conversation with you and then share with you how I might be able to help you. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart, into your home, into your cell phone, and for showing up in a way that tells the world that you want love and you're not willing to settle for less. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.